could dark matter be ordinary matter with ordinary gravity in a parallel universe? Because for reasons I don't understand the math of, the, the field theory equations of, you were telling me that electromagnetic energy cannot escape our space-time, but gravity can. In a certain model called the brain universe, where B -R -A -N -E. our universe, <clears throat> B-R-A-N-E, it comes out as, as a membrane. Theory. Yeah, it's a membrane. So our universe is like a four-dimensional membrane floating in a higher dimensional universe okay. that might have other membranes. Higher dimensional membranes. Yes, and those other membranes like parallel to us, like two slices of bread and a big loaf of bread. I like it. So, right. the, so one slice of bread is some other membranal universe. Yeah. Ours is this one, but it's one, it's one multi-brain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so... Gravity could leak out of one into the other. Or it could just be the, yeah, that's right. So right, the gravitational pull, yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. So if the other universe has six times, nobody, see, this is where you corrected me. Because I was thinking, because we have six times as much force of gravity operating in the universe as matter and energy can account for it. Okay. It's a factor of six. Right. So I was saying, why isn't it just a parallel universe that has six times the mass and it's leakage into our universe and we're trying to feel the elephant, trying to figure out what it is, but it's just regular matter in another universe whose gravity leaked. But then you said, if it's in another membrane, it's going to be dropping off faster than one over R squared. Yeah. Like one over R cubed or some higher dimension. Yeah. And if that's the case, it has to be way more than six times. But you could imagine rigging it so that it would Rig have the right amount. Yes. And people have studied this, and it's hard to make these theories work in detail. 